hi guys welcome back to a new part of Android tutorial in the previous part we learned about how to share data between two simple Android application in this part we are going to learn about how to prepare your Android application for receiving data from another Android application so here I just using the example provided example uh, we discussed in the previous part so in that example I just create an intent object and just add an action for that intent object here the action name is action sent also I just pass a simple message which is of mime type text plane so here you can see that the indent action name is action sent any application with that indent action filter name has uh, able to receive this data sent by this application we already see that there is only one application present in that emulator called uh, the messaging app is only available with this indent action name called action sent and in the previous part we run this application using that message application so now I am going to create an another application which also have the same intent action name as action sent so we are going to discuss how to receive the this shared data by an another Android application so here I am going to create a new project so a new project it's an Android application project I name the project as destination app click next nothing to change here again click next here just create a blank activity again click next here is the activity name and layout name finally click finish now the other project is created here is the project destination app here is that XML file of that here is the layout of that destination app project here is the main activity now we need to we are going to prepare this application for receiving the data sent by uh, data shared by this project share demo share data demo so I am going to take the I am going to do something on the manifest of this project destination app so I just open that manifest of that project here is the activity tag here is the indent filter tag here you can see that in indent filter there are two category action action and category here action is main so in the previous part the previous example I just uh, make the action of the indent filter name as send so in order to receiving that data sent by shared by the other application we need to use the same indent action here so I just remove this main and make it as send now this application is able to receive the data receive the data shared by the other application also now here the category is launcher we don't need an icon of this application on the launcher so I make it as a default now this application icon is not available on the launcher of your phone one more thing you need to add here you need to add the mime type here so Android uh, mime type you need to specify the mime data type handled by this application so here it is a mime type and I give it as text iPhone plane it is the mime type of the data shared data received by this application okay now we need to code the programming segments for receiving that data so go to the main activity of this project here I just create an object of indent indent i is equal to get indent you need to import indent here 
now forget the action name of that intent I create a string variable string action is equal to I dot get action okay now for getting the type of the data I will create another string variable string type is equal to I dot get type okay now I just start an if loop if indent dot action send dot equals if it is equal to the shared data that means uh, action and type not equal to null and type not equal to null here I am going to check the type if text iPhone plane dot equals equals that type here we can get the string from that indent so here I just create a string value string uh, get message is equal to I dot get string extra you have to specify a string name here so string name is indent dot extra text this is the same string name used in the previous example in the previous example we uh, set the name as indent dot extra text so here we use the same text name intent extra hyphen text okay now I need to display this on this activity so in this activity on the layout there is only one text view is present I am going to add an ID for that text view and row it ID is equal to plus ID I gave it as txt now again going to the main activity here I am going to create an object of text view text view txt we need to import text view here okay now connect this object text is txt is equal to find view by id r dot id dot txt okay you need to cast it into text view text view now here I am going to attach this string into that text view so txt dot set text I make it, make it as message is equal to that variable get message okay so in order to share the in order to retrieve the data from shared by other application you need to specify something in the manifest file you need to 
make the action corresponding to the shared data and also here add some additional component called data you need to specify the type of data shared by the other application and here for receiving the data I just create an object of intent and get the action and get the type of that uh, shared data and here just uh, check some here uh, do some valid validation and finally get that data using this get string extra method now this is the time to check the project so now I'm going to run this so whenever we run this project there is nothing to nothing to be displayed in your emulator because we in the manifest file we just make it as a default that means this activity is only invoked by other activities and uh, there is no launcher icon is available on the because the category is default there is no launcher icon present on this uh, phone launcher on device launcher so in order to uh, invoke this application you need to install it on the emulator so for that you need to run it so now I am going to run this application Okay, now we are going to install this application of the emulator. So I run, I'm going to run it as Android application. You will see the installation progress here, launching destination app. okay now here is the message is done and success installed on the device so I just open the device there is nothing to display on this device because we just hide this activity on that project also there is no launcher icon available on this uh, Android emulator because we just changed the launcher into default so for checking whether this application is installed or not on this device just go to the launcher uh, go to the settings in settings there is an option called uh, apps choose that option so here we can check whether that is installed or here is the application destination app that means now uh, the second application is also installed on this emulator so now we are going to run the previous project now I'm going to run the previous project okay here is the previous project and now I'm going to run it run us and load the application and open the emulator Okay, here is the application is launched. I just type a message here, hello world, and click this button. Okay, now here you can see the a chooser dialog window is appear. Complete action using the previous case, there is no chooser window is appear because there is only one application that contain intent action as sent now here in this device there are two applications are present destination app also messaging so here you can choose any of these apps for completing your action so I just choose the destination app and click just once now here is the output so now the data sent by the previous app is now available on this app that we recently created and here is the message guys this is how we prepare an application for receiving data uh, from another Android application guys please subscribe now my channel for getting more video tutorial updates from my channel on your YouTube homepage thank you for watching see you in the next part of this tutorial